I just filmed a killer intro with no memory card in the camera, so let's see if we can do this again. Last video we talked about the color checker and how it can make your workflow easier in DaVinci Resolve. Today, let's talk about the second half of that equation. That's your monitor and how it's calibrated. We need to make sure that what it's showing us is a true representation of what the world's going to see. Let's check it out. What we're going to use today is a device called a Data Color Spider 5. Uh, this is the Spider 5 Pro. I think they have a Basic, an Elite, and a Pro, or Basic Pro Elite, and uh, a few more features in the software. But from what I can tell, the sensor is the same in all of them. I picked this one up off of eBay for maybe 90 bucks. So what it does, it's a sensor that has a light sensor on top, so it can get luminance. And then here, there's a sensor inside that measures the color, hue, and luminance of your screen display. So you run their software, and when you do it, you drape this over the top of the display and let it sit down in the, in the colors that they're broadcasting, and they know what colors those are supposed to be. And it effectively gives you a LUT that you then load, or a color profile that you load into your monitor so that it or into your graphics card so that it can compensate for what your monitor is displaying so what i'm going to do is walk you through the setup of the software and show you how it works i've pulled up the spider 5 pro software and i have warmed up my display i have the lighting conditions good except for i've got a camera on here at the moment but the display controls it wants you to set this to the coolest setting so as I do that, I'm going to go to the uncalibrated display, which is my Acer X34 P1 monitor. This is a 100 megahertz display uh, in a 1440p configuration with the widescreen, and it's a desktop. It is an Acer X34P. Click next, and it has the brightness. We go so now I'm gonna go with the recommended gamma go in recommended white point and choose that display to calibrate you can see on the on the screen here I have a spider square uh, traced out and now I'm going to hang my spider over the back of the monitor I had forgotten how long this actually takes but I sped through it for you so you didn't have to sit through it the device sits on the screen and measures each of the colors as it flashes by and through Hollywood magic and through Hollywood magic we're now able to see the results which are a calibrated and uncalibrated view of several photos that highlight different tones and hues so that you can see them the last thing we need to do is check that the graphics card has loaded our profile we do that by right clicking on the desktop clicking display settings picking the monitor that we just calibrated which is monitor number one and you can see, in fact, Acer X34P-1 was the color profile that I loaded. All right, so this is what this does for us and is pretty helpful uh, when you're trying to make sure you don't end up with videos that are a little too orange skinned like I did a few videos ago. Thank you all for watching and hope you have a great day.